thinking about revenge. Did you just see that? No, like really, did you guys see that? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So he went from being in the back of the boat to the front of the boat. Do you guys understand how important that is? This shot blew my mind. Now this is a clip of the trailer for an upcoming Netflix original movie called The Outlaw King starring Chris Pine. And I don't know, like this movie seems okay. I mean, the trailer was fine or whatever, but like this one little shot in the trailer blew my mind. Now, as you guys know, me, Daniel Phoenix CTS, I'm a film student. I want to become a filmmaker. This is the stuff that I just eat up. Like num, 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 num. I love it. And when I saw that shot, I don't know, something about it. Like that shot alone blew my mind. And that's like, I am seeing that movie just to watch that shot. Because that's a shot that you don't really see a lot in cinema, you know, or yeah, anywhere for that matter. Not anymore. It's something that like Akira, Kurosa Akira Kurosawa back in, he's a Japanese filmmaker from way long ago, made it really cool using depth, you know, in, in camera framing. Now, normally we see action from side to side, you know, I'll be standing over here and I'll go walk over here to talk to somebody or that we'll be talking side to side and you'll know, be back and forth, but we never really see the z-axis we'll see x we'll see y but we won't see that z-axis axis in the frame which is weird because movies are supposed to be an immersive experience and if you have three-dimensional beings operating trying to view something a two-dimensional story that's weird that's why good 3d is so important but if you have good 3d or even if you just have good depth in your shots that can make it all the better. Because imagine if somebody was back over there and then they came up and then we started having a conversation. I was talking over them and then he wanted to talk to somebody even farther back. You know, we created, you're watching a flat screen, but there's depth. I'm trying to think of an example. Say like, so I'm here, my water bottle's right here, and then my headset stand, I don't know, is like over here. So, you know, we have like these three things all in different levels that are together and operating in the same frame. So you don't need to, to move the camera that much, but you can still show an immersive experience and get people engaged. And that's the kind of shots that I want to capture. That's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for in cool trailers and stuff because it's, it's totally not under, it's totally not used that much anymore. And when it's done right, and when it's even attempted, you know, it usually does a really good job at immersing you into the into the story, and that's what movies are all about. So, props to the filmmakers behind the Outlaw King for doing that. They're probably inspired by Akira Kurosawa as well, as am I. And I just really wanted to express my love and interest in that shot because it is something that doesn't go, um, it goes very underrated a lot. And me being a film student and an aspiring filmmaker, I want to I want to start bringing more stuff to this channel about like filming, and filmmaking and content creation, and storytelling and all that stuff. And this is something that just came to my mind really quick, and I really wanted to show. So, hope you guys learned something. Um, if you guys want to know anything more about that, I'd be happy to talk to you guys in the comment section below. Question of the day, guys: What is there any kind of cool shots that you guys like? What kind of shots in movies definitely turn you on? Um, as a viewer. So let me know in the comment section below. That'd be really cool. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to drop a like on the video. And also if you're hyped for the Outlaw King, let me know as well. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. Uh, shout out the Tomb Raider Challenge Tombs we got coming out, Overwatch videos, uh, vlogs, all that stuff. stuff. Uh, I got every coming out every other, almost every other day, but every week guaranteed. And as always guys, this is going to be Daniel like Phoenix DTS and I want you to find yourself, be yourself, and love yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you really liked it and want to see more similar content, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to check out that video. But if that video is not your style, then definitely check out that video. We hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.